Hey, welcome back. We're back in our modified colony today, and we've got a layer of dynamite to kick things off. Let's detonate this out first of all. Beautiful, beautiful. Great way to start an episode. So today we're going to work more on this very, very large container here. We are going to try and press out across the map, hopefully into this corner over here. And then we've got a couple of items over here in the uh, industry corner. That's what this is that I'd like to work on as well. I think the first thing we need to work on over here, though, is... We don't have any water coming in at the moment. So let's get those set up to the highest priority so we know that those get done. That can all go in. This can go in. And let's go ahead and put that in. That way those come in pretty quickly. Let's make sure that we are getting trees. There we go. That looks good. We're going to go ahead and knock down this area. Fill that back in with dynamite. We're going to put in... Let's see. Wood. We're going to put in a tapper shack here. And... I think what we're going to try and do is... Start making some of our own... Stuff over here. So let's... Let's get a refinery this way, this way, this way, and then we're going to have to knock down this area right here. There we go. We'll come back and we'll put in more refineries there. For storage, let's see. This is under science. Let's grab another biofuel tank and another one, and we'll get some catalyst tanks in there. Be here. One, two, three, one, and two. Get a road going all the way around here. Then let's go labor. Let's get another hauling post in here. We'll figure out what to do with the area in between. I would also like to get some farms in here. Toss a farmhouse. Right about here. Toss one here. About one. Let's say right here. And one here. Don't know why I have that extra square there. Up here, let's get ready to put in some potatoes. So we're just going to go a ton of potatoes in here. There we go. Down here. We're going to do sunflowers. Something like that for now. And that should be all for just a bit. Let's see if we can move that up to the highest priority. We will move this one up to a high priority and this one too so that those get done. Now, since we're lacking some metal over here, let's see if we can move out over this way. Let's go... How far out does this district reach? Right about there? Alright, well, let's cut you off about here. There we go. New district. Let's get stairs up here. There we go. Connected in by the road. We will put in new district here. Labor. We will put in drop off post and we'll come back and we'll get those set up we definitely want four beavers here then we're going to come across here out over and around and we will probably want to knock those trees down just move them out of the way there we go once those are done we'll bridge the gap and we will put in an efficient mine here there we go. 
We'll come back this way. Do that. And we'll plan on putting in... Are those ones or twos? Those kind of look like... Ones, maybe? Although, I'm going to have to go down and... No, I'm not. Let's do this. There we go. I see the proper path now. But we are going to have to take out one more tree. But that's okay. There we go. That will do just fine. Let's take out that one, too. And then we will set that up here in just a minute. So back over here, we're going to fill this whole place up with dynamite. So we can get rid of that. And then I think we're going to put in a couple more areas here. So that we can get some more builder huts. We've got so many golems here that are just not doing anything at the moment. So we might as well use them. There we go. We'll put in more builder's huts. Here we go. One, two more builder's huts there. We will put those up to max workers, max workers. There we go. Over here, since we want to go out across this, let's take those out. Do this. I'm going to put in a gateway here and we will eventually put another district here. Let's see if we can go across here. Left and down here. There we go. It definitely had to think about that. But that's okay. We'll get this all worked through. And we'll come back in just a second. While we're waiting for some of this other stuff to get moved out of the way, we can probably extend this wall out just a little bit farther. Let's see. We're going to need some landscaping here. Let's go with our levees. Two more. And then we need, of course, the power brick. Which is right there. There we go. And then back here. There we go. Now we just alternate that with these power bricks to take the power across and back to the levees until we get up to the next level and so on and so on. There we go. Another section of the power wall ready to go. Let's see if we can get our... There's that. Put one of those in there. And then we are also going to... We can mark in a path all the way along here. And hopefully they can build some of that. I'm going to set these explosives up as the highest priority because I'd like to get those out of there first. Somehow a beaver got himself stuck over here. I'm not sure how they got here in the first place but let's go ahead and free him just because we definitely can free him. Now if they'd have trapped themselves and I'd have had to do some major remodeling it might have had to just stay trapped but I think we can get them out of there. I'm starting to notice some of these lumberjack flags are full, so it looks like we need a log storage place over here. Let's see if we can build... Let's see, industrial log pile. We're going to build one this way and one that way, and hopefully that's enough. We will get this hooked up over here. There we go. Now there's one for down here, and now there's one for up here, so we have... Extra storage for everything. While we're waiting for the water to come back over here, I noticed that most of this field of potato just is not getting any kind of harvesting done on it. So we're going to kind of include that out on 
this side. Put you there. We're going to do that, and we're going to add a farmhouse right here. And that can go across, and whoever is in there can farm out this portion of the field. Looks like our beavers have got most of our dynamite in over here, so let's take this out. Still satisfying after all this time. Never gets old. But we've got this cleared out, so in a second we'll come back and we will put in more stuff right here. But I want to put in a path in the meantime to go this way. And possibly this way? There we go. And let's build a small bridge across here so that we can level some of this land out too. Is that a two? That is a two. We will toss in this. There we go. Come up here. And then here we are going to explode a lot of this here. So let's say it needs to be all this here. There we go. They'll get to that eventually. Also, they can start building on some of this stuff over here. Now let's take a look. Oh, and another line of dynamite. Good job, guys. Okay. So, we are going to try something here. We are going to grab the damn pieces. Nope, the levy pieces. And we are going to fill all this in real quick. Or at a moderate pace. Whatever happens, happens. There we go. Two, three, four. This one here, this one here, this one here. Now here, let's see. We are going to use a bridging technique that I happened to find and thought worked pretty well. So, what we're going to do is, we're going to put in a bridge here. As soon as I can find, there they are. Yep. There we go. Let's put in a levy here, and then we got one, two, three. There'll be a levy there, and we are going to do this and this, and that way... Now they have four different spaces that they can build. They can do these three and this one. When this one's done, they have four and four, instead of just one beaver coming up here to drop off things over and over and over. Now back in our geothermal district, we've already got a couple of our refineries in, which is working great, but I think we're going to put in a couple more Looks like the biofuel is doing all right, but our catalyst is just not keeping up. So let's grab another refinery, possibly two. There we go. There we go. There we go. And there you go. And they can get in. That catalyst is a bit uh, pressed for stuff at the moment, but... That's okay. They will catch up when these other two hop in here to help out. Also, we could probably use this. I think we've got a couple of beavers that need a job, so we'll move that up to the highest. We're still clearing out over here. It's just taking a minute. In fact, I can probably get rid of that. Toss down an extra one there. Get rid of you. Do that. And there we go. We'll come back and check on that in just a second. Over here, we're getting our fields going to power the bots up. But, as you can see, there's a lot of dry land. And we could use these irrigation towers. But I want to upgrade. Since I've got plenty of science, let's buy the big one. And this is a massive, massive area. So we are going to put one right here, I think. That will 
turn a good section of this green. Now, I think we're going to wait until this is out of here. Well, actually, I could probably... Do I want to put one right here? I'm going to put one right there. And that covers most of this area. And now, everything should have water. Maybe I should put one here? Because it also, as you can see, increases carrying capacity and moving speed for everything in this area. But you know what? I'm going to drop one of these here. When this is in, I can probably get rid of both of these. Let's make sure there's a path into it, though. There we go. And... Path into it there. And we're going to put a path in... Well, we are going to demolish that and put it in correctly. That would help. Let's have it facing this way. And we will make sure that, yes, it can be dropped off. So, that's just fine. What's the... We might as well set it up for this. And we will set it up for this. There we go. That should keep most of this green most of the time. It looks like we've made it to the limits of this district. It can only get to here. So what we're going to do is we're going to once again remove some trees here. Let's remove... Uh, that should be enough. They can come over and remove those. And then we'll move this district down to here. We'll probably have to move the drop-off point as well, but that's okay. That'll be fine. And then we'll work our way out across the river and hopefully up here before the end of the episode. The beavers got this all cleaned out, so let's go ahead and toss in yet another district here. We're going to put in this one here. In fact, we can probably put it here. Oh, we need a gateway first, don't we? <laughs> let's put that in. There we go. If it's going to be that picky, that's fine. We'll put in you, and then we will get another drop-off point right here. There we go. And now we're going to set up for this. So we've got those taken out of there. Now we need to get up to this mountain up here. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we probably don't need two rows, that's for sure. Let's get... There we go. Looks good. We'll go through here. We'll go right there. And then let's start going from the other way and working our way down. So it would be right here. There we go. And one. And there you go. And there you go. And twos to connect in. Let's get our stairs in there. That looks good. One path. One path. And we will demolish these three. And we'll get this district set up and... Uh, get going on that one. Looks like we've got the last of our dynamite up here, so let's go ahead and clear that out. There we go. Now as this goes in, that's going to get hydrated in there. So we need to figure out what we're a bit low on. It looks like the supply depot could probably use a little more pine sap, so we'll put some of that in there. And then we might actually build out maybe... The aquatic farms. We might do that in here somewhere. Because we are low on that as well. Let's see. Let's start with our forester. I think the road, yep, reaches right to there. I'm going to do a tapper shack here. And I'm going to do one here. And, oh, you know what else we're low on? Chestnuts. We never seem to have any of those. So we'll, we'll do a little of both here. 
Let's get to planting some pine first, though. Pine here. And that should be covered by, well, most of that. There we go. We can get those, and then we'll do... Trees, we'll do chestnut trees. All in this area. I don't know if I want them across the river. We'll do this. And then we will put in a couple of gatherers as well. Maybe one... One here. And one, how about... There. We'll put in a road here just in case we should need it. In fact, we could probably connect a lot of these in right here. Let's cut that district off there. Go across here. Go across there for now. And we'll let them put that in and we'll come back and check in just a second. But I do believe I was going to build an aquatic farm around here somewhere. And we have not got to do that yet. So let's put in some aquatic... Well, we'll put in a base, a basin. That was the word I was trying to say. There we go. And that, hopefully, will let us keep in a little bit extra water. That looks good there. We're going to put a little bit more over here. There we go. One there. There we go. And we'll blow that up and we'll actually put in one extra here so that we can get a little bit of filling going on from whenever the river comes back every wet season. But that's definitely going to take a little while to get in there as well. I think they're just about ready to get that in there. There we go. We've got our mother of all irrigation towers set up and ready to go. We'll set it to prioritize by haulers, but we'll get the water in there and let's see what kind of changes that makes on this kind of environment. There we go. Look at the difference that that makes. A huge amount of green land is just now becoming available for us. And it should perpetually stay green with these dumps over here. So... Now we just have to get in our second irrigation tower, which should be a little quicker now that it's not split between two. And our third one, I believe, is almost done as well. Looks like our dynamite field is almost done. And we did set some dynamite up down here so that when the water finally comes back, we'll have a little bit of extra place for it down here. In fact, I could probably just delete that one. There you go. That looks good. So now, what we can do, now that we have some green land over here, we have a lot of green land over here, let's put down... We've got something for... Maple here, but we might want to make a more permanent area for that. Let's... Have plenty of room for potatoes and for sunflowers we're gonna need the maple syrup and the pine resin for this area so let's do there it is oops not that one this one we'll put in a forester here there we go and we will put beside it a where's our tapper shack there's our tapper shack we will put another tapper shack in here, and then in here, we will simply plant a bunch of pine. And that should give us the pine resin. Hopefully, we can get some maple. In fact, I'm wondering if we should just replace about half of this with maple. I think that's what I'm going to do. We'll go out to about there. And none of that will be for cutting. That will simply be only for getting resin. Let's let's actually fill the whole place up. We might as well, right? There's the maple. And let's do the pine here. Just a little bit more pine. 
we'll surround the that awesome water tower with just pine. There we go. That will help out quite a bit on some of these supplies that we just can't seem to keep in stock. While we're waiting for the other two to get built, let's go ahead and clear this out right here. Probably detonate a couple of those as well. And we'll toss in a bit more dynamite here. So that we're sure to get all of that blown up and a little bit extra of an area down here to get water for us. Now over here, we've done the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and detonate those out. We'll detonate this one this one, this one as well. We'll see how much of that water makes it down to the end. Probably not a lot, but that's okay. Our wall over here looks like it's coming along pretty quick. That technique really did seem to speed it up a lot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take out the bridges. There we go. We're gonna go and just fill in the last little pieces here. Let's get in the levees here. There we go. There we go. There we go. All of these. All of those. And we'll toss that along there. Oh, I missed one somehow. There we go. And that should get built before too long. So then we'll have a good portion of this box done. I would say somewhere between a half and a third is done. We got to get it all the way pretty much to, I would say, about here. And then we've got to blow all of this up. But we will get there as we get there, that's for sure. Well, we have our second mega tower in. So we can actually probably take out these right here because we won't need them anymore. That one and that one are both well in range of this one here. So we should be able to save a couple of supplies there. In fact, we can probably just toss these back in real quick. There's our potatoes. And couldn't hurt with a couple more carrots. There we go. And we have so much greenery going on. We can probably turn some of these back on so that they can get started on their various planting duties and whatnot. All our dynamite finally got put in for our water farm, so let's detonate that. There we go. Even at the slowest speed, it has some frame rate problems, but that's okay. We will work with that. What we are going to do from here, let's see, we would like a dam in here to hold in some extra water. We are going to put in a water dump just to make sure that we always have water here. Let's put it in. How about on this side? That looks good. And then we're going to need some stairs down. Let's put in... Let's put in some decorative stairs here. There we go. We'll put one right there as well. We're not going to need this. Let's put in a path here. There we go. And we'll set it up to actually have some crops down here. Let's put in... Cattail. go get some of that in there plenty of cattail plenty of spatter dock of course we're not going to need it outside of the water farm so let's get rid of that there we go they'll get to work on those hopefully here in just a minute this is they don't have a route to plant anything but i'm pretty sure that's what that's going to do for it so hopefully that goes away here in a second Let's make this one the highest priority, so we're sure to get it. We'll make that one the second priority, and then these can both stay on the normal mode. 
while we wait for all of that to go in, let's take a look and I think we can definitely afford another house in this district. In fact, we will do that and then we will do this. And we're just going to do ladders up the side here, just like before. One that way, one this way, one that way. That way, unlike these, well, those aren't too bad either. So, that looks nice. We'll we'll just stay with that. In fact, I don't even think I need either of those, do I? Nope, I just need the two. There we go. We'll put in this. We'll make these the second highest priority, except this very bottom one. I would like the highest priority so that we can restore the path through there. But they'll get to work on those. In the meantime, let's put a little decoration in here. Let's do... Let's just do some log fences. Maybe some around here. There. All the way around here. And we will figure out how to get the fences in here. Don't think I need one there, though. Can do... Yep, log fence. There we go. Alright, that's a good start for some of these. I think we'll let that work just for a minute, and we'll go check on some other parts. The back wall of our dam is coming along pretty well, so we're going to keep on going here. There goes one set of dynamite. There was a second and a third. We've got all sorts of dynamite all over the place. I think I'm going to redo these blocks. They don't really seem to want to go. We're going to turn them sideways. Let's go out this way. There we go. And one more here to fill in that. That looks nice. Let's go ahead and join these two roads while we're over here and then we can get set up for dynamite in this area as well our third water tower is finally up and they are getting going on that so i think that's going to be a good place to end it for today we've had quite an adventure getting stuff set up so I think it's looking really good. They're getting farms in here everywhere. They've got the mine in down here, which we haven't started up yet because we have plans for next time on getting some bots over there. Our giant reservoir is going pretty well. So next time we're going to try and get a little bit more infrastructure set up in here. We'll hopefully get our giant reservoir done, and then I've got a big project over in the corner that we've been working to that I hope to get set up and started on, and maybe even finished, but we will see then. But just wanted to say thank you very much for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!